kinds of cats here as well. That's right. We have mountain lions. We have lots of bobcats, and those are all part of our tours. So on our full moon tour, most of the animals are active at night. You know, it's so hot during the day. A lot of them don't want to get up and play. But at night, it turns into a whole different scene out here. So it's really neat for people to come out and just kind of, you know, it's such a neat place at night. And what's all is bats come out, the wild bats, about 7 or 8 o'clock. The wolves will usually howl. So. You say that with a smile, I the wild that, yeah. bats. <laughs> I love bats, and when I see them, I, I get all giddy. Now, some of these um, these little cubs here, tell me about them. How old are they, and how did they come to Actually, you? Actually, all full-grown bobcats. Oh, some of them are pretty grown. old. Okay. Yeah, Zuni was born in 98, so, you know, he's getting up there. But these were all rescue bobcats. Most of them were people's illegal pets. People try to make these wild animals into pets and think they can domesticate them. It's illegal, and you, you don't domesticate a wild animal. You yeah. just, you know, they've lost their fear of people, and that's why they can't return to the wild, unfortunately. And they, they like mousicles as well. They do. Uh-oh, uh -oh, we better have enough, and I only have uh -oh. two. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> are, are they good at sharing? <laughs> Let's walk over together. And I think a lot of times in kind of the urban interface on the outskirts of the alley, you can see um, we have, like, bobcat sightings and oh, lion bobcats sightings. Are everywhere, even in neighborhoods. You know, people will call us and say, I live in this gated community, and there's javelina and bobcats. It's like, well, javelina and bobcats, you know, don't obey the, the gated uh, community laws. But they live out here, and we're really lucky to have such a neat population of wild animals and you know people sometimes worry about how to live with them or how to you know uh, maybe not invite them into their yard so people can call us for advice we have you know tons of great information wow okay give us the name again on this one is it tochi did you say oh, tocho. tocho and he's a male mountain lion that um, came to us as a cub when somebody had him as a pet that is insane that someone had him as a pet it's really sad though the animals always lose because the people fed him the wrong diet they didn't know what to feed their illegal wild animal and as a result he came in with severe metabolic bone disease which basically he was like a little man with broken Aww. bones and really yeah just brittle bone real quick what are we hearing here i don't know Those folks at home can hear it. Sick and gray wolves. <laughs> <laughs> we have 17 of them. We hold them for U.S. Fish and Wildlife as part of the um, breeding reintroduction program. So an endangered animal. Very Website cool. for folks to find more information. Very easy. Southwestwildlife.org. And you have to sign up for the full moon tour. Pre-register. Spaces are limited. So and if you don't miss this, if you miss this one, catch us the next time. Thank you, Kim. Thank you.